all right everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it is monday morning uh almost 8 30 so i'm just making some breakfast uh glenn is going to try to eat some bacon along with the one egg and toast like he had yesterday so we'll see if we can take it a step further but uh he's feeling a little better but uh still not a hundred percent uh with the appetite so um, he thinks he can put down the egg and toast, but we'll see if he can eat the bacon. So the bacon I'm making is this one we received from the food pantry, Jamestown brand. So we'll see how it tastes. And uh, it's kind of a thicker cut, some are thinner. We're having bacon and eggs and some toast for breakfast. Uh, nothing huge. So, so yeah, um, I probably won't record the rest of the process. Uh, you see, <laughs> how many times can you watch bacon and eggs be made so all right so thank you for joining me today and uh, stay tuned for whatever today brings all right everyone so it's 2 30 in the afternoon now and i really haven't recorded much since since i have no idea what i did oh <laughs> breakfast i recorded at breakfast but since then um, I did just have myself a cheese quesadilla for lunch and actually Glenn just had a bowl of cereal, some corn checks. Um, so he's feeling much better. So he's eating more a little bit at a time. Um, his back is starting to feel better. His stomach's feeling better. So, uh, so yeah, yes, that's prissy. Um, so nonetheless, I got to go cut grass. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I want to at least cut the front and get some of the back ready to cut. Um... So, before I do that, though, I'm going to make a no-bake cheesecake. So, I wasn't going to record this, um, but for some of you that haven't seen me make a no-bake cheesecake, pretty simple. I've got two 8-ounce uh, blocks of cream cheese, and it is softened, so it's been sitting out. And then I'm going to put a tub of Cool Whip, and a quarter cup of sugar, and some vanilla. That's all there is to it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of cream up my cream cheese so it makes it easier to mix around. Yeah, I was going to just cut the back, but the front looks like a jungle again. Unreal. This rainy season has made the grass grow fast. All right. So I won't record me cutting the grass because I'm going to do the front end. You've already seen that in a POV video. Um, so I won't do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw some sugar in here. Quarter cup of sugar. All right, so that's quarter cup granulated sugar. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to use clear vanilla. That way it stays more of a white color instead of a dingy color. I'm not going to measure, just pour some in. And then just get all this mixed up together. Go back to the spoon. There is nothing to making this. If you've never made a no-bake before, a no-bake cheesecake, make it. It's delicious. It's probably one of my favorite desserts. Um, so yeah, when I learned how to make this, I'm a, oh my god. <laughs> Can't believe I never made it before. Alright, so now we're just going to fold in a 8 ounce tub of Cool Whip or whatever brand you have. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Yes, I always uh, run my fingers through the Cool Whip <laughs> when I open it. I love Cool Whip. Sometimes I have some pumpkin pie with it. <laughs> a whole tub of Cool Whip and a slice of pumpkin pie. And you just want to fold that in. And that's all there is to the mix. When we used to go on our camping trips, um, I used actually used to make no-bake cheesecake and take it for our dessert. And we used to know a guy there that always brought us firewood from his property up there where we camped. So I made him a no-bake cheesecake too. You don't want to overdo it because then the Cool Whip starts to break down. Okay, so you can do a pie pan, make your own graham cracker crust. I always do it in an 8x8 because it has a lid and I can just put it wherever I want to in the refrigerator, put something on top of it. It's not going to get crushed. Um, my crust, I just take the graham crackers like that and put them in here and line it. Um, by the... By the next day, they're going to be so soft, you're not even going to know they're there. So for those of you who don't really like crust, good way to go. And then just pour this in. Yeah, Prissy's mad at me right now because I'm not feeding her when she wants it. So she insists on meowing up a storm. All right, so I'm just going to kind of smooth this out, cover it up, put it in their fridge so it can set, and it'll be done by tonight. It'll be ready to be eaten tonight. You could even make or buy a can of pie filling, put it on top. We've act I've actually even made it where I think I had some strawberries, put them in the food processor, uh, got them, you know, almost like a puree but with little chunks in it. And I actually mixed it in with it and it was a strawberry, a no-baked strawberry cheesecake. It was pretty good. All right, I'm just going to cover this up, put it in the fridge, uh, three or four hours it should be set, and dig in. All right, so I'm going to get ready to go outside and cut the front yard and see how much more I can get done. Hey, everyone. So I cut the front grass already. Didn't take me too long. And uh, now I'm back inside. We're actually going to have a salad. Glenn has definitely got his appetite back. Um, before I went out, he had a bowl of Czech cereal. And then after I got done cutting, I called him on the 2A radio just to make sure he's okay. And he said, he, he's, uh, this is the first day in a while he's had a really good appetite. So he was hungry again. And we both thought to have this salad, that bag of garden salad that we got at the pantry last week, last Thursday. And uh, we also got a cucumber, so we're going to have a salad. Yes, we need more salad in our life. So, it's a little big. So yeah, it's uh, 416 right now. And I did put the tractor back in the garage and close up the garage just in case I didn't get back out there. And I'm guessing I'm not going to. Already 4 o'clock, so I may or may not. I don't know. But I still got to eat a salad. Alright, so um, this avocado ranch that was sent to us in friend mail. It's uh, so when we actually have a salad, like the whole thing. Uh, I like Catalina for my salad, but if we're just like cutting up a cucumber and dipping it in a, uh, a salad dressing, then ranch is the dressing to do that. And this actually um, doesn't taste bad at all. So avocado ranch, you can't really tell there's avocado, but like wishbone and... Uh, Hidden Valley make their ranch dressing a little bit different so there's a little bitter taste but it's not a bad bitter taste so I would definitely use this when I just slice up a uh, cucumber to dip in a, in a dressing I, that's what I would use this for um, but an actual salad then I use the Catalina 
and then Glenn actually mixes the two, Catalina and Thousand Island, to make his own dressing. So that's what we do. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know we tasted this, and definitely a dipping dressing. All right, so I cut up that cucumber. We just put like the lettuce, cucumber, some tomato. Glenn doesn't like as much tomato. He likes a lot cucumber though. So make him a few more. And we put some shredded cheese and those sunflower seeds that I bought that one time. I actually bought it for the salad. All right. So Glenn only wanted a couple. So <laughs> that's about all he'll take. <laughs> I, however, love tomatoes in my salad. And... But I think right now that's what I'm going to do um, just for this right now. I got two more small tomatoes and then uh, and then now I'm going to throw in some sunflower seeds. It's been a while since we had just a salad. So yeah, he definitely has his appetite back today and he is hungry. So that's a good sign. And I want to thank you all for your well wishes. Some shredded cheese. He doesn't like a lot of cheese either. Maybe a little bit more than that. That's probably too much. <laughs> and you know I love my cheese. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling better. And uh, he's definitely getting better. And I'm glad he's got an appetite. So... All right, I'm going to throw some dressing in mine and then take them both dressing so he can mix up his own. Oops. All right, so that's our salad right now, and I will be back in a bit. All right, everyone, so I'm cooking supper now, and we're having hamburgers and french fries, homemade french fries, so I've got the fries going there. And then... I got the hamburgers going here on the electric griddle and I wanted to show you something. Something, um, I have a little Timu haul to show you, some more household stuff. But I got this uh, grease uh, splash guard and I got it for like $2 so I'm just testing it out. It is taller than the shelf there and it goes pretty much from that end to over there and over here. So I want to see how well it works. Um, for $2, it's a good test. Um, it's not the sturdiest. It's cheap aluminum with a uh, design on it. But at the creases over here, it's got holes in it. But this item is also discontinued now. So, so if it works, it works. For $2, I'll take it. So... Uh, we'll see at the end uh, how much grease it takes in versus getting it all over the shelf and the walls. So, all right, so we'll be back. All right, everyone, so here is my cheeseburger on toasted bread and homemade french fries. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And thank you for all the well wishes. I really appreciate it. And so does Glenn. And with that, remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.